Right, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is a panel session, and the subject of the panel is to look at BEPS in the context of uh, Africa and uh, have a discussion. And if we actually manage to have some time at the end, I'd like to bring in the audience with any questions they have. Um, let me just introduce you to the eminent panel members. I'll be very quick because uh, there is a so that we can actually get into uh, discussion rather than just uh, my introduction of people. Um, Alvin, please excuse me if I get name pronunciations incorrect. Um, Alvin uh, Mossi Oma is uh, Executive Director of Tax Justice Network Africa. He holds a Master's in Economics. He has written many papers and presented at uh, events on tax and his special um, interest He's widely traveled around, in, around Africa, and he has a special interest in international tax as it relates to Africa, but uh, more widely. I hope, Alvin, I have summarized more or less what you've said here. Then introducing uh, Kyle Mandy. Kyle is a tax technical and policy leader for PwC South Africa. Uh, he's been fulfilling this role for the last five years. He is a part of, he's responsible for formulating PwC's response to matters of tax policy and design. Uh, Kyle has many years experience in all aspects of tax with a primary focus on corporate tax, including mergers and acquisitions. And I am rushing through the CVs so that we have more time. Um, Kennedy hasn't made it so far, so I'll let me just drop that CV out. Dr. Nara Monkham is Director of Research at ATAF. She has, um, which is the African Tax Administration Forum uh, since 1st February 2014. She's a member of the Davis Tax Committee appointed in July 2013 by South African Minister of Finance to inquire into the role of tax systems in the promotion of inclusive economic growth. Um, Dr. Monkham holds a PhD degree in economics from uh, the Andrew Young School of Policy Studies at Georgia State University in Atlanta, and both bachelor's and master's degrees in economics from the University of Namur in Belgium. Her areas of expertise and research interests center on public economics, uh, domestic resource, resource mobilization, tax policy, and tax administration intergovernmental fiscal relations, subnational government finance, and poverty alleviation in developing countries. I've already given you Aldo's uh, CV, so I'm not going to mention Aldo again, but obviously he's here. Uh, Nishana Gosia, uh, Ms. Gosia is the current manager of, the, of SARS Transfer Pricing Unit. In addition to her SARS role, she also serves on the OECD's Working Party 6 and the UN Group of Experts on Transfer Pricing. So a, a very, eminent group, very eminent group we've got here. Now each or most have supplied questions which uh, we would like to go through, and as I say, at the end of it, if there's time, then bring in the audience. So a couple of the uh, people here have got slides which relate to their questions. So perhaps if we move to the slides in a minute, but I want to try and jumble up some of the questions rather than just purely giving them as they are. So if I can perhaps ask, um, but if, if I can just start with Alvin, because from an NGO perspective, may I just ask, uh, and this is coming from your question, how do you feel that uh, BEPS is relevant to Africa, or do you feel that it's perhaps not? Thank you, thank you very much. Um, I think that uh, to answer your question, I think that of course BEPS is relevant to Africa, but the the problems I see uh, are three. One, I think that there is a, a fundamental conceptual framework on, on how BEPS was developed. Um, number one, it advocates for an arm's length principle as the conceptual basis of governing the, the, the rules that on income division for tax purposes. That's, I think, something important. And it rules out any um, considerations for to explore alternative mechanisms uh, such as uh, uh, formula apportionment. I think that is something that needs to be said. Secondly, I think that...